What happens after you lose almost $300 billion? Well, uh, we talked about how NVIDIA had a record wipeout of $294 billion, including after hours. But uh, we do have a template here which tells us that things might actually be a little bit more constructive than we thought. We will circle back on this in a couple of minutes here. We also have a uh, notable tick down back into greed at 67. And we have a CPI coming in tomorrow. So the market's feeling a little bit more scared. And we note that CPI tomorrow is likely going to be quite important. That is going to come out at 8.30 Eastern tomorrow. And uh, Jensen, Jensen Huang is going to be giving a keynote address next Monday on the 18th. And also, uh, there's going to be a, I just checked the website again today, there's going to be a panel which is going to be hosted on the 20th, which ironically is the exact same day that we're going to be hearing from the Fed. So this week, we got the important data here. Next week, I think it's going to be all about what Jensen has to say and what Jerome has to say, the Jays. And uh, as we look here to the heat map today, you're like, oh my God, it's not really doing all that great out there. But again, please stay tuned. I'm going to walk you through exactly what I'm noticing out there. So the first thing here is that we talked about this pattern on the weekend. I encourage you to go through it if you want more detail. But we're basically uh, moving on to step three here. So what does that mean? We're looking for a red day on a video. What did we get? Oh my goodness, we got a red day. Yes, we're right here on an uptrend, which I think a lot of people are not going to feel as being support because there are they have there has been a big drop from the high. So what we're basically looking at here is uh, SMCI on the left hand side and Nvidia on the right hand side. So if the pattern plays out going into number three, we get the dip, then we get consolidation, then we move higher. So next week on Monday and Wednesday, I think it's going to be very important we watch the stock. Why? It's kind of a really big deal. So we'll circle back to this in two seconds here, but let me show you something that actually gives me a little bit of optimism today. I'm noticing that RSP closed the day out green, which means that we're actually seeing equal weight catch a bit again. Uh, we closed it once. Uh, this is actually, this is a record closing high. So if we go here to a line chart, what do we note? Oh my goodness, new record close on RSP. But Justin, today's video said, ouch. Yes, because that's what people click on. No one's interested in buying RSP. No one's interested in talking about the Dow. Even if they close green, they are boring. People just don't like that. I'm going to ask you for a huge favor. If you could please consider smashing that thumbs up or subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you ahead of time. So if we note that some things are green today, RSP, equal weight S&P 500, Dow Jones, 30, financials, green, Energy, green. XLU, green. Uh, what else is green here? Emerging markets, insurance. Um, FXI, 2.4%. EWW, I believe that is uh, Mexico. Yes, Mexico. So there's actually quite a few things that are green out there. Bitcoin, oh my goodness, new all-time highs, right? Bitcoin just can't stop, won't stop. Bullish engulfing daily candle. There was no sell the news here. So we talked about uh, a few things here, blah, blah, blah. There's, the, there's your NVIDIA stuff. Bitcoin faces sell the news. Well, sorry, bears, you guys suck because we just had a bearish engulfing candle, which they failed to capitalize on or formed a failed breakdown. Then we pop flag, pop flag, popped. Now the question is, where are we going to flag out? As we come down for this next high, I would love to see us uh, go no lower than 69,000, which is our previous all-time high, which basically means that the sell the news did not happen. We just keep going higher. And as I look at that pattern compared to SMCI in NVIDIA, hey, I think this market can go higher. Um, that's just what I think. We got to we gotta continue down the road. CPI is going to be a hurdle tomorrow, but there's always things we worry about. The good news is that we're actually selling off only back into greed now, right? 67. Yeah, we cooled off from 79. And uh, there's, no, uh, there's no shortage of fear porn out there. Oh, my God, everything to be scared about. Time to worry. Cool. Yeah, completely normal, right? This is fine. Right. There's, there's always ways to manipulate the data to make it sound more scary than it is. Anyways, um, GDP in uh, Japan came in positive today on a revision, which means that we're technically not in recession. Whoop. Right. There we go. No recession. So if we go here to uh, um, let's go to uh, year to date. Actually, sorry. Let's go to day. Let's go. No group. So this way we see the biggest blocks over here. Well, hey, if you kind of like hide this side of the chart, you're like, hey, that doesn't look so bad. Right. Let's hide all the big guys. You're like, hey, market looks pretty good. And that's exactly what happened. So um, RSP up, Dow up. Things are looking more constructive. Record close on these ones here. Looking back at the last one week, again, if we just do this, boop, we hide the biggest companies. Whoa, market's like getting pretty strong. It's not It's not uh, consistent. Like, not again, Home uh, Home Depot's red, AMB red, Netflix, Costco, Salesforce, Uber, 
right? There's some there's some sellers here, but I think what's happening the way the way that I would characterize this is that I don't think people are net selling. So if, if all you're doing is looking at spy, yeah, it's down like 44 cents today, or it's uh, right back to where it was in after hours, right? It's flat. Uh, but the Dow, oh my, or sorry, the uh, the Nasdaq, oh my God, the Nasdaq's down. Yes, and there is a sell pattern here. We talked about where. When we get three consecutive uh, full days in a row, right? We got a couple here, a couple here. Uh, we got some over here. It either means that we're starting a correction, which is like what we did over here with three in a row, three in a row. We start a correction where we go a little bit sideways or we just keep going up, right? Boop, like we did before. Well, I don't know how much longer we can keep going up, but hey, I'm not here to fight it. The trend is your friend. And right now the market is pointing up. Who are we to argue with it? Um, so if the NASDAQ's down, yes, make sure you broaden out because as we talked about gold record high, right? Pretty sure gold's at a record high here. Yes. So record close for the, uh, for gold, uh, not, a, not quite an all time high here for ether. If we zoom out for one second here, we have to make it to roughly 5,000, but Hey, not bad. 4,000 nice big round number. Um, if we, if we move forward here, Apple back up, right? Google up Tesla up, right? Those were those losers from the last about week, right? They've been terrible. If we look here to the last uh, last month, yeah, the big stinkers are uh, Apple, Google, ta Tesla. Microsoft's a little bit red, but hey, let's be honest, it's been a it's been a crush over in Microsoft town lately. Apple, Google, Tesla are the ones that suck year to date. So what are they doing? It looks like they're rotating, selling a little bit of Nvidia, selling it on support, and go buy some of the uh, the junk, right? Go buy some Tesla, go buy some Google, go buy some Apple, all the names that are down. And this is notable because, as I mentioned before, FXI also has a pretty big ramp today, up by 2.5%. This gets me a little bit excited. And I say that because we see a bullish pattern here, right? Inverse head and shoulders, back test the 50. If we can start claiming the 200 and moving higher, things look more constructive. Also noticing some other things that are uh, in interest, rate, uh, interest rate sensitive um, are moving. Lithium is up by 4.4% today. I think, again, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it's moving based on what's happening in China. Why? Tesla, Apple, FXI, right? That's been the theme, China. Well, Google just kind of sucks. Let's be honest, um, right? Cannot figure out this uh, chat GBT thing, but otherwise those companies are mostly China related. And then look at this one, TAN or TAN. Um, this is a solar ETF. It was a lot higher today, but still closing out green. And uh, this one is very sensitive to interest rates. So even with yields up, like, man, there seems to be a bit out there. People seem to be rotating. They don't seem to be net selling. Um, the one caveat I would put here that we did talk about on the weekend as well is that um, if we now go here, boop, 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 um, the S&P 500, where is it? Uh, 511. So technically, we're still in a blue sky and we're over the previous candle high for the previous month. The NASDAQ does give some concerns. But until we see the SPY or the equal weight, which means we're not just looking at the, the couple of blocks, we're looking at the broader market. Until that happens, hey, it's a bull market. Thank you for tuning in. The weekend deep dives now on the left-hand side. If not, come hang out with me at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you so much.